Today's topic is CAN multi-frame transmission. Why we need CAN multi-frame? Okay, all of us know that the maximum payload of CAN message is 8 bytes. But if we want to send more than 8 bytes of data, then what will we do? We go for CAN multi-frame transmission. The multi-frame is used in diagnostic data transmission. In the case of DTCs, dates and all, as per the requirement. ISO TP is defined how to send along a CAN message. Okay, for this, ISO TP defined four types of frames: single frame, first frame, consecutive frame, and flow control frame. The sing in a single frame, we can send seven bytes of data. Okay, actually, the payload is eight bytes, but in single frame, we can send only seven bytes of data because the first byte will be used to add a metadata which is called PCA that is protocol control information regarding PCA I will explain in the next slide okay then the first frame is the first frame of the multiple frame and the next one consecutive frame is the one which is followed by the first frame and the last one is flow control frame flow control frame acknowledge first frame of multi frame so the first frame consecutive frame and the flow control frame are part of can multi frame so in this slide i am explaining about protocol control information or the metadata which is added to each can message frame to identify the frame type so in the below table it's well explained how we can identify each frame type the single frame is identified by data byte 0 here the bits 7 to 4 of data byte 0 is 0 which represent single frame if it is 1 then it will be a first frame and if it is 2 then it will be a consecutive frame and if it is 3 then it's a flow control frame and the next bits 0 to 3 of data byte 0 represent the single frame data length so for a single frame the first data byte 0 will be used to represent the metadata so we can send 7 bytes of data in the single frame coming to next one first frame the bits 0 to 3 of data byte 0 and data byte 1 will be together representing the data length of multi frame data then the consecutive frame the bits 3 to 0 of data byte 0 will be representing a sequence number the sequence number is like 1 2 3 that kind of numbering it will be from 0 to f then the flow control frame In the flow control frame the bits 3 to 0 will be representing flow status a clear to send overflow that kind of status will be sent in flow status then the data byte 1 will be block size and the d2 that data byte 2 will be separation time minimum and this slide explains the single frame example here i have taken the uh, current speed data as the example it's an obd data uh, in this uh, we are reading the current speed data so the mode obd mode will be 0 1 and since we are reading the speed the parameter id will be 0d so we are sending the request 
to the ecu and we are receiving the response here so in this d0 if we check we can see this is single frame this zero represent the single frame and this two in the request and three in the response represents the single frame data length okay then here this 41 is the positive response of this request and the zero d is the parameter id same as in the request and 3c will be the value the value of speed okay you can go to next slide okay this is the multi frame example for this i have taken vehicle identification number vehicle identification number comes in the obd mode 09 and the parameter id will be 024 win number and the response the request will be like 70008020902 and the response and the response will be like this this represents a multi frames first frame it is one represents a first frame and this much this 014 represents the data length of multi frame so the 14 will be 20 bytes so we are receiving 20 bytes of data from the ecu so vehicle information when when we read a vehicle uh, identification number we get a 20 bytes of data from the ecu if we count this you will get 20 bytes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 okay then uh, already i have told that when the issue receives this first frame uh, when the ecu send this first frame to the sender that sender will acknowledge this using a flow control frame that is three three zero 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 the block size and separation minimum are zero here and the uh, frame type is 3 that means flow counter frame 0 is flow status okay then uh, the ECU will start sending the consecutive frames then uh, balance data will be sending by the ECU so in the consecutive frame the frame type is represented by 2 the 2 will be representing consecutive frame and the sequence number will be a 1 2 like that so this is the can multi frame example so this uh, this is how um, can multi frame is identified so i think the video will be useful to everyone please uh, like and comment on my channel uh, if you have any suggestions also you can uh, put it in the comment okay thank you guys thank you also uh, you can visit my blog in the wordpress Okay, thank you.